There are four entries in the open season franchise, so today I'm going to be ranking them. Hello everyone, this is Ledger Forever, and in this ranking I am ranking all four open season movies from the mediocre to the best. Now, I don't think that any of these movies are particularly like top tier animated movies. But that's the appeal of some of them. They're not like trying to be the best animated movies of all time. They're just trying to be a modest tit. So without with that with that said, let's get started. So easily coming into last place for me is Open Season Three. Now I do think this movie is bad. It does. Ugh. This feels a lot like a direct to video sequel, which I'm pretty sure even the original one was a direct to video movie. None of these movies are very special, but. Some of them are better than the others. Open season three, ugh. I'm. I just think that it's it has too many plots going on. There's the plot about Boog in the. There's a plot about Boog joining the circus. There's a plot about Elliot having to, uh, take care of his kids. There's a plot about, uh, the person who is in, who's pretending to be Boog, uh, being being well that's one of the reasons it's so forgettable i can barely remember it he's trying to impersonate him there's that plot there's also him being a uh, boog being in love so there's that one so there are so many subplots with this and it just goes in so many different directions i'm not a very big fan of the love interest herself she's not the best and just to say the least and Elliot, who's normally, like, one of the main characters of this entire franchise, is sidelined completely in this. He has, like, maybe... Hey, sorry. He has, like, maybe a few minutes of screen time, and then he just disappeared for, like, the entire movie. And it just feels really lackluster. It does not... It does not feel earned at all when we get to our payoff, so... One of the one of the reasons I had to put this one in the last place is that, and I know a lot of people like to hate on another movie in this franchise it that does not deserve it or just is not. This one is definitely the worst, and if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments, but you have to tell me why, because I think this one is bad. At number three, I have Open Season Scared Silly, or... Uh, open season four. Now, just to be clear, there's like a big leap in quality from uh, open season three to open season Scared Silly. I lo I really enjoy this one. This one's funny. It's a, this is like a popcorn movie. The 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 other three on this list are popcorn movies. I hardly enjoy them, but I enjoy them a lot more than I probably should. I should not enjoy even the best of them because even the critics hated it. But anyway, this movie it. It feels fun either. I do like that Ellie gets a lot more screen time than he does in Open Season 3. If you, Just one of the problems I have with this entire franchise is nearly every single movie they seem to reboot it by getting a new actor to play. Almost, any, almost everyone in the entire cast will be rebooted. And it's like kind of hard to tell because the people they got do sound a lot like them, but it's... It's noticeable, but I'm just really not a big fan of this movie. It, there are some moments, sorry. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this movie when you compare it to oh, the other two on this list, but I do think that there's some entertainment value in here. I do like that some of the comedy sticks out a lot more than Open Season 3. And it just feels like a good entry in the franchise. It's playing it safe a lot of the time, but... It's it's good, and I do think that they did do something smart bringing back Shaw so we get a really good villain here because he was one of the standouts of the original film, so it was good having him back. And he's one of the he's one of those like very despicable villains and very scary at times. Like in the first film I I thought to myself, that guy could be pretty scary. Although I wasn't too scared of him because I watched it when I was I think I wanna say thirteen, a friend of mine uh, watched it with me because he said it was really funny. So if my friend ever watches this, thank you very much for introducing this to introducing it to me. I will keep your name anonymous, but you know who you are. And I do think this entry is good. Just a lot of the time it does play it safe. In second place for me is open season two. Now there's probably another big leap in quality here from number 
three to number two. I do really, really enjoy this movie. This movie is pretty funny. There are a lot of standout moments here. Like, for instance, the one where the dog goes into the shock region and gets, uh, like, half of the head uh, burned off. That's hilarious. And surprisingly graphic for an animated movie, there's a lot more comedy than in the first film, and there's a lot more adventure here than the first one, and... I do. The only reason this one is held back from being number one is there. It does like switch genres pretty fast because the first one is supposed to be like a. They're just trying to find Boog. The next, then uh, it turns out into a kidnapping one. Like the other half is a kidnapping story because of the bad guy being a fluffy little puppy who ends. Uh, who it's now a rescue mission. Sorry, rescue mission. Man, I'm I am really bad at talking today. Sorry about it, but. I do think that this movie is very solid. It's it's very rewatchable for this franchise. I do think that the I do think that number three is rewatchable, just nowhere near as rewatchable as the second, also one that I find myself revisiting a lot more than the other two on this list. But in it all in all, it's a good movie and there are some flaws about it, but if you just take it on its own terms, it's a relatively harmless movie. But easily coming into first place for me is the original Open Season. Now, this is nothing special. It's an okay movie. I mean, I don't, like, actually say it's, like, one of the greatest animated movies of all time. But one of the things I like about it is because it's actually... I'm actually going to go to good. Like, really good. Not okay, but... One of the things that I like about this movie is it's not trying to be the greatest animated movie of all time. It's not even trying to hit a double. It's just trying to... It's just trying to be one of those animated movies, and it is. It's funny. It has good characters. Like, Elliot is very memorable, and you get a lot of really good scenes in here, some really funny scenes, and Boog is a standout here, but, of course, Elliot is the scene stealer here because of just how how stupid yet how hilarious he is when he does so many fun well, funny lines, and the third act was pretty bonkers, where it just goes into, like, the full-on mayhem. That was pretty funny. Shaw is a good villain in here. They return him in the fourth movie, but in this one, he just feels like he has a very menacing presence. So, I do like that. I do think it can get a bit too silly at times, like, it relies too much on jokes, and it feels like it takes itself pretty seriously for a movie this funny, but I can let go of some of those things, because... But because I do think this movie is highly enjoyable, and I do think this movie is good, and that is why it comes in at number one. There you guys have it. There's my ranking of all four open season movies from the worst to the best. Now, if you have seen all these movies, then let me know your ranking in the comments below, and just let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them. It's a pretty lackluster franchise with some entries being really good and some entries being not so good but overall a a meh franchise so if you've seen them let me know i'm curious to see what you think of them and thank you all so much for watching please like and subscribe and have a good one